Good evening everyone, time for another member update. Now this is the chart we've been watching for a very long time. This is the daily chart of the gold crossed over the Dow. And a uh, couple of things to note here. The breakdown in the Dow is fairly critical, fairly serious. Uh, I don't think it's going to recover. Uh, the breakout in the gold has not occurred yet. You can see that both of the lines come from late 2012. Uh, but I expect probably both of these are going to cross their trend lines and, and approach each other. Now we're going to look at gold in various currencies because that's really important. The, the one currency that gold really hasn't done anything in yet is the dollar, but that's just a matter of time. Before we do that, I want to visit the strange stories that are happening here with the visit of the Pope. Now we know that Pope Francis came and uh, spoke before Congress and uh, met with Obama and uh, did a lot of stuff and there's some strange stuff going on. So let's start with uh, the history of this Pope. Uh, this Pope is from um, Buenos Aires, Argentina. It says he worked briefly as a chemical technologist, nightclub bouncer, before beginning his seminary studies. He was ordained a Catholic priest in 69, etc., etc. Uh, he was accused of handing two priests to the national reorganization process during the Dirty War, but the lawsuit was ultimately dismissed. He became Archbishop of Buenos Aires in 1998 and was created a cardinal in 2001 by Pope John Paul II. He led the Argentine church during the December 2001 riots in Argentina. And the administrations of Nestor Kirchner and Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner considered him a political rival following the resignation of Pope Benedict XVI on the 20th of February 2015. A papal conclave elected Ber Bergoglio is his successor. His chose Francis. He chose Francis as his papal name in honor of Saint Francis of Assisi. Francis is the first Jesuit pope, the first from the Americas, the first from the Southern Hemisphere, and the first non-European pope since Gregory the third in 741. Now that's some pretty important stuff. Even more strange than those facts is the fact that we had the day after he visited, we had Janet Yellen stumbling in her speech. A lot of people think she had a stroke. Uh, you can see this story there taking great pains to reassure us that she was fine. She talked to people. Uh, later, she attended a dinner with the university's chancellor. She appeared fine and was talkative. Um, that's not what I saw. Um, that is a person who either had a stroke or, as A.G. Silver Bear speculated, might have been poisoned. Very strange. 24 hours within the Pope's visit. Another one. Shocking. Crybaby Boehner. The, this uh, rhino trader of conservatives. This is the guy who has thrown conservatives under the bus. Basically, you could consider him and Obama an ally. It's an ally to the Democrats. And here he is. He resigns within one day of the Pope's visit. So... Something strange is going on. There are some very strange things afoot. Now, we didn't get the crash that people were expecting for the 23rd, 24th, the Shemitah, but we are having these strange events. So what does this mean? Well, uh, these types of things tend to be clear in retrospect, but they're not clear when they're happening. So... It might be that Janet Yellen is setting herself up for a resignation, and it's clear that the uh, resignation of Boehner from the House is going to uh, cause 
a big problem we can see here on the calendar. I've already covered October 1st, which is only five days away now, is the date we're talking about for a potential SNAP turnoff for the food stamp benefits. So uh, we're talking about a catastrophic situation with 46 million food stamp beneficiaries possibly not being able to buy food on October 1st. This is going to be the date when they have to get a budget in. And uh, so this is, this is potentially chaotic what's coming. But let's get to the main story of the night. Now I want to look at the gold price because in the US dollar, we really don't have action yet, although we have a downward move in that uh, Dow index that I showed you. But uh, this site here, goldrate24.com, actually gives you the gold price in other currencies. You can see here we're on the gold price in the Brazilian real. You can see that. Unfortunately, it just gives the five year, but you can see we're up here, all time highs. The other one here from uh, South America is Argentina. And you can see here, touching these all time highs here. Um, now, it would be nice if we could get an honest chart from Venezuela. Of course, we're not going to get that because the Venezuelan government is lying about the value of their currency. So it's anywhere from 10 times to 100 times what they're saying. So this thing is anywhere at uh, 90,000 to 900,000. But there's a lot of other charts we can look at. We have a lot of currencies weakening. You can look at the, the Turkish currency here. Here's a five-year chart of the Turkish currency. You can see on the one-year chart, um, go to the recent 30 days, you can see a massive move in gold in that currency. So it's already very evident that gold is a universal currency. Gold is a currency that holds its price while other currencies collapse. Uh, let's just take a peek at a few others. Here's the Afghan currency. Now, again, I point out you can't rely on these because these, these countries lie about their currency. Here's Norway. Uh, this is supposedly one of the stronger currencies, but you can see here gold's near, near a five-year high. Uh, we know the Canadian dollar has been weakening here, so we'll take a look at Canada. You can see here on the five-year chart, uh, it's not at all-time highs, but it's uh, approaching them. Mexico, the Mexican currency has been weak of late. We can see here on the 30-day, it's, it's getting up there. The five-year shows us near an all-time high. So it's really only this U.S. dollar chart where gold is, is still depressed. But that's not surprising. We would expect the dollar to be the last man standing. This is the world reserve currency. This is the currency that uh, is going to go down last after all the other currencies go down because we're looking at a potential changeover of world reserve currencies. So we've had a number of people asking about what is available uh, what I would say to buy at this point. I don't have any dry powder at this point, even though prices are very good for silver. But the first thing I want to look at here in regards to silver is the silver goat. Now, uh, this has been a sign that I've always watched for at least a, a good half a dozen years here is the turnover point when Atmex... Um, gets rid of the old and brings in the new. And the new for Atmex is the coin. We don't have the monkey released yet, but you can see they only have four of these uh, half ounce goats. Now we were picking these up. A lot of members picked these up for $9 and something. Um, but they're no longer available on the, the main four that have them. Atmex, Gainesville, Provident, and Jam Bullion. They're no longer available at all. And you can see that Atmex has reset their price up to this uh, $19, $20 price. The uh, horses, the half ounce horses are around 27 bucks. 
and uh, the half ounce dragons are around 30 bucks I believe so I have never seen an instance where this has reset up to this price and has ever come back down this is an indication for me that the half ounce goat is done now uh, someone asked what would I be buying if I were buying well the first thing I would say is I would definitely grab a few of these silver kangaroos you can see here at Provident Metals this is a pretty good price here uh, we're talking about uh, just a couple bucks above spot you can see they have a buyback price about a buck fifty below but uh, they've got the kangaroos in stock I did a link to the video uh, stacking video where the guy is uh, done an update on his kangaroos and he's very happy with them that would be something I'd be thinking about picking up a few of but uh, the main one that I would be looking at right now is the two ounce uh, goat that's only available now on on uh, Provident it's not available on any of the others now we were able to pick this coin up for 40 bucks. Actually, the Gainesville price, we got ours for 39 something. But you can see here at 41.88, uh, that's still a really, really good price for the coin. Uh, it would not surprise me to see this coin do a quick double, just like the uh, half ounce did, to where once they're gone, uh, they they come right back out and they're they're double the price. There's only 101 left, so probably after this video, is gonna, they're going to be gone. And then we're going to be waiting for the monkey. So that's going to be my top pick. Back to the main story, that's going to be gold. Gold is already accelerating in multiple currencies. We know the last currency it's going to break out in is going to be the dollar. And probably when, that's ha when that happens, silver is going to follow it. And that's going to be the marker for the beginning of a major bull move, in my opinion. And we'll talk to you next time.